Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Bootsy Creative Team and today we're going to get our mixed media going. I'm going to be creating this page with you using some new products. I'm using some Pebio Studio Acrylics High Viscosity paints and I got three colors that you can see here. I got the fluorescent yellow, the fluorescent pink, and then the iridescent blue green which is absolutely gorgeous. I ended up bringing in some um, contrast using the heavy body acrylic paint by Dina Wakely Media in the color night. I'm also using a new stamp to me um, by Just Right Stamps. It's a script background stamp. I've been looking for a script background stamp because you know how much I love text on my mixed media pages and I'm in love with this one so you're probably going to see it a lot. I did some of my doodling with the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens as well as the uh, um, it's called the Stabilo um, All-in-One Pencil. I actually had to stop recording to find it and look at it. I also did some uh, white highlights with a gel pen and the Sharpie white pen water-based. I am working in the Strathmore mixed media journal. It's the 500 series and this is a new journal that I just started working in. It is absolutely amazing. I love the pages. They take so much media and um, they seem thin but I don't know if there's magic in them because they can hold a ton. So I'm starting and I am doing some collage on my background. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just using some deco art um, collage medium for that. And then I also gessoed it in white. And I didn't film that either because it's just a simple gesso wash. Um, I I want to try to use clear gesso, but maybe next time. I totally forgot. So I put some paints on my palette, and I mixed the yellow and the blue to make a green because as I put my collage papers down, I had this horizon line because I used text papers on top, and then I used this um, Prima Marketing Resist Canvas Paper on the bottom. I've had it in my stash for a long time and I wanted to kind of play with it today. And once I did that, it kind of looked like a horizon to me and I thought, well, with the colors that I have, let's go for um, a sky and some grass area. And those colors made a really, really pretty um, green. And then with the iridescence of the blue, I kind of got some of that iridescent into my grass, which kind which really made my page flow better together. So I am just dry brushing my background on at this point. I'm pulling in some of that green into the blue area just to kind of get some blending there. I brought in some of that pink because I was trying to make some contrast colors in the sky so it wasn't completely flat blue. I like to have a lot of dimension and texture as you know. And so um, I'm, I'm just dry brushing. I don't have any water on my desk and um, just letting those colors blend naturally together. I am bringing in a catalyst tool as well as like um, a paint scraper credit card and bringing in some of that yellow just um, to get some more random texture. Then I felt that my page was getting lost and I needed to bring in some white space again. So I pulled out my golden um, titanium white and I'm making some paint marks here with that um, like old credit card or something. And um, just, just random mark making. I think doing this adds a lot of texture right here. I am not thinking about anything else other than getting this background built up. Again, I'm looking for dimension. I'm looking for contrast. So uh, I needed another green, but what I did is I just added a tiny drop of carbon black acrylic paint into the green that I had already mixed. That provided, or that created a shade of that green, so it gave it a little bit more depth, and I just scraped some of that paint on there as well. So here I am um, taking some archival uh, black ink, 
uh, because it's permanent and I am adding that beautiful scripty text on my background. I decided at this point that I wanted to make some flowers. I have never painted flowers with acrylic paints before and I am just taking a very simple approach to it and just scribbling it on some circles. Um, not going for realism here. I don't ever go for realism. So I didn't want the paints to blend so much into the background so I did add some gesso on top um, so that I could do some more layering with the colors. And this is where I decided that my page was too flat. I needed a darker contrasting color and so I pulled out that night acrylic paint and I just love this color. It just blends so nicely with everything. I put it on the blue part of my canvas or not my canvas but my journal page and I also brought it down into the green and it just I think at that point I was really happy with how my background was turning out. So now I'm going to add some more color to my flowers and I'm taking that fluorescent pink and just scribbling it with my fingers and making some flowers. I also brought in some of that fluorescent yellow and you can see those two colors mixed together and they're making this really pretty orange so I've got so much color and texture on these flowers um, just by using two colors so it's pretty cool. And now I'm taking that Stabilo uh, all-in-one pencil. My paint is not completely dry, but it's kind of dry. And I just scribbled some circles on there, and those are my flowers. So I think they're super cute and whimsical, and it, I just tried something totally new for me. And I've always wanted to kind of paint flowers or paint something just from me into my journals. And I think... Um, you know, I love stamps and I will always use stamps in my journal, but I think sometimes it's nice to just put a little bit more of yourself onto the page. And it's not perfect, it's not meant to be, but it makes me happy because I tried something new and um, it worked. So don't ever be afraid to experiment. These are your art journals. That's what they're for. Um, you can share them like I do with you guys that I love to share my process with you or you can just keep them from yourself. Um, so I decided to um, pull out this quote from uh, Frida Kahlo and it says, I paint flowers so they will not die. I've just always loved that quote but I've never painted a flower so I could never use it on anything. So I was looking at my Pinterest page which I like to keep a lot of my favorite quotes um, so that when I come to a journal page I can look through there and pick something out and sometimes I find it and sometimes I don't and this time I saw that one and I said that's perfect because I just painted flowers. So I'm adding some highlights with the Sharpie um, paint pen. This is the water-based. I like the water-based better than the oil-based um, just because I'm working on an acrylic background and I'm just adding some just doodles dots kind of bringing in some highlights. Uh, at the end, when you see the photos of the page, I had had some uh, Pebeo mixed media white opaque paint on my desk that I from another project. Um, and I decided I didn't want to waste it, so I went over all of these kind of white doodles that I'm doing now with that. So it kind of covers it up, and I like it because it's a lot more contrasting. Um, but I didn't film it because it was just like randomly on my desk, and I thought, hmm, I wonder how this would look. So in case you're wondering when you see the photos at the end, that's what that is. So now I'm deciding that I want to highlight my uh, journaling, and so... I'm going over that with the Uniball white gel pen. And what I'm doing there is I was trying to like erase the uh, Stabilo all-in-one pencil because I, I, I traced it out with that and then I went over that with the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen because those are permanent. But for some reason I was getting a lot of smearing so I just stopped and then I'm just gonna move on and um, I'm just outlining all of my journaling with the uh, white gel pen and then I'll go back and um, fix that paint area and then um, outline that part in white as well and I think it's just I am super impatient and I didn't wait for it to dry so here I am I'm just fixing that up looks fine going over some extra areas um, 
with the white gel pen and I am really happy with the way that the white uniball gel pen works on top of all of this paint and texture. I was super impressed. I think that was maybe the first time that I had tried to use it as a highlight and I'll definitely be using it more. So I'm just kind of showing you all of the pretty texture and dimension that I have on this page. It just makes me really, really happy. These paints, um, basically I use three colors on this entire page. Like I showed you in the beginning, I have the blue, the yellow, and the pink. But because I added some black to the green, I got different shades of green. Because I added um, <clears throat> the uh, pink and yellow together on the flowers, I got different shades of pink, yellow, and orange. And then also in the sky when I added some of that yellow, you can see I got even another shade of green. And although I added night, which is another color, um, into the page, I think with the three colors, I really got a lot of variety and interest going in this page because these paints just work together beautifully. They blend like butter. Um, I definitely highly recommend the Pepeo Studio Acrylic Paints. I'll be getting some more colors, especially the iridescent. I love that. I hope you can see that in the photos in the sky, um, how that kind of just shimmers a little bit. So it just has this really glossy sheen. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. For more inspiration and ideas, be sure to follow the Blitzy blog as well as our Facebook page. Until next time, happy crafting.